What's up guys, John here and welcome to Baltimore Retro Gaming and in today's episode I finally cut the cord. I broke away from the Sega Genesis at least for today and I got another game for you and this is a game that I actually picked up recently and today we have Contra 3 The Alien Wars for the Super Nintendo and before I get into that a couple of things you guys first of all I want to say and as of the recording of this video it's close to Veterans Day um, one of my best friend Joe is in the, you know, he's in the armed forces, and I want to say a happy Veterans Day to everybody out there that's in the service. I am greatly in your debt. It's because of you that I'm able to operate, you know, my business and just live in the United States in freedom. So I'm very, very grateful for everybody that serves in our military. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, um, you know, funny story, me and my buddy Joey, he's married now, so he spends a lot of time with his wife, but every Veterans Day, he would come into town, he would pick me up, we would drive around, he would get stuff at a discounted price, and I never expected to get the discount. He always got it. They, a lot of times they would give it to me too because I was with him. But one day, it was Veterans Day, he was in full uniform and we're in a Mission Barbecue. And he says, okay, I'm ready for my Veterans Day, because it was Veterans Day. Most places offer a military discount all times of the year, but Veterans Day, a lot of people offer like more of a discount, or that's when they offer their discount. But they said, well, we don't have military discount. And like the whole restaurant, it's like a little fast food joint, but the whole restaurant turned around, looked at them, and the girl standing behind the counter serving us was so embarrassed to tell my buddy in uniform. And, you know, that was just a submission barbecue, man. I don't know if you offer military discount now, but at the time, it was a couple of years ago. Ugh. And I remember at Joe's wedding, you know, me and uh, his officer in the military, we were the groomsmen. And I was telling him the story about how that happened, and his face dropped. And he said, he was like, I'm going to make it my life's mission to go over there and straighten them out. So hopefully, Mission Barbecue, hopefully you offer a military discount at this point in the game, because if you don't, that's a little disappointing. I mean, I'm a little small, rinky-dink business that makes hardly any money, and I even offer a military discount. So, and one other thing, guys, I got this game at GameStop this morning. The guys at GameStop called me and said they got one copy of a game in that I would probably want. And again, it seemed interesting to me, and I had some like credit on my account, so it really didn't cost me that much money. I used a bunch of my points, but it is $30 if you can get it at your local GameStop, and that is Moonlighter on the PlayStation 4. And uh, guys, it, uh, here's my receipt. It comes with a manual, so the way it was described to me is the guy at GameStop said he thought it looked similar to uh, Secret of Mana, the Secret of Mana remake, or like, um, like a Zelda style of game. And he said it was pixelated, so I was like, all right, you got me, you only got one copy, sold. So that's my copy of Moonlighter. I'm going to do a video on this in the future. Anyways, guys, Contra 3 The Alien Wars, let's check it out. Okay, guys, so this is my copy of Contra 3 The Alien Wars. There's the front label art. It says Contra 3 right there. There's the back of the cartridge. I mean, really, there's not a whole lot to show you here, guys. It's a cart. I could open the cart up and show you the board, but what's the point? One interesting thing to note, though, this game did come with this awesome retro protection case. And ain't nothing like having your baby ride inside of a Cadillac, you know what I'm saying? So it does keep the game in good condition, but that's my copy of Contra 3 The Alien Wars. So before I get into my own experiences and thoughts about the game, let's turn to Wikipedia and learn some random facts about Contra 3 The Alien Wars. So, Contra 3 The Alien Wars released in Japan as Contra Spirits and in PAL reason as Super Probot Tector Alien Rebels. I had no idea it was released under that name in PAL regions, but is a 1992 run and gun video game for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System developed and published by Konami. It is the third console iteration in the Contra series, and it actually followed the original Contra, which was released in 1987, Super C, that was released in 88, and those were both for the NES. Nintendo actually re-released Contra 3 The Alien Wars in the United States in September of 2017 as part of the company's Super NES Classic Edition. So yes, this game was released on the NES Classic, and for good reason. Nintendo knew what all their heavy hitters were, and they stuck them all in the NES Classic Edition, at least most of them. You know, if only Sony could do the same thing. So, I actually found Contra 3 The Alien Wars just recently. Now, this is a game that I had as a kid, and from what I remember, it's a game that I liked pretty fondly as a child. 
but I was actually in one of my local retro video game stores just a couple of days ago, and I didn't see anything for the PS2. I didn't see anything for the GameCube. You know, I most certainly didn't see anything for the Genesis because I've already kind of raped that place of all its Genesis games. But I was looking around and I thought to myself, like, you know, I haven't bought a Super Nintendo game in ages. So I was just looking through the Super Nintendo games. And this place happens to have a ton of Super Nintendo games. And I just happened to run across Contra 3 The Alien Wars. And I remember thinking, oh, this game was fun when I was a kid. Haven't played it in decades. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. And it's not that terribly expensive of a game. I mean, I paid $25 for the game, you know, full-fledged retail at a retro game store. So it's a pretty good game. So in my opinion, you know, that money was pretty well spent. So like I said, I had this game as a kid. I must have left it somewhere or traded it or sold it as a kid because I, I didn't have it anymore. But as I played through the first stage, and there's an end boss on stage one that's very similar to the end boss on the original Contra. It's like a tower. There's some guys that try to snipe you from the tower. And there's this like little, um, I guess, weak point, this little ball in the middle of the tower that you have to fire at. You know, again, very similar to the original Contra. But as that tower is kind of making itself visible and it's kind of like coming out for you to see, the game makes some very specific like tones or noises or I guess what you, sound effects, if you want to call them that were very, very similar to sound effects that I've heard in Super Mario World. And, you know, as soon as I heard that in the game, that nostalgia bell was like ringing for me like a fucking cowbell. And I was just like, oh my God, I felt like that moment in time, I was playing the game that I was supposed to be playing again in that moment in time. And it took me right on back to when I was, you know, 11, 12, 13, however old I was when this game came out. So, you know, let me know in the comments, did you guys, when you played Contra 3 The Alien Wars, do you know what I'm talking about? Did you hear those tones in the game that really, really reminded you of the Super Nintendo or of Super Mario World? Because, again, in that moment in time, that took me right on back to the early 90s. I remember my mom bought a Super Nintendo for me for Christmas and hid it in the closet. And when she would leave for work... I would open the box and play the game and try to put everything away so she didn't know that I had found it and was playing the game. But I think that she knew because I remember she hinted around about it, you know, later on. And I never, never copped to it. I never would admit to it. I would take that shit to my grave with me. But, you know, those are just some of the fond memories that I remember about the Super Nintendo when I was a little kid. You know, I've heard it said in the past, the Super Nintendo did what the Nintendo did just 10 times better or that much better. And this, this game, Contra 3 The Alien Wars, is a classic example of just that. So one thing that the Contra series was known for, especially in the early you know, NES days in the late mid to late 80s, this game was known, or the Contra series was known for its diversity. I don't know whether you want to call it uh, varying levels, a multi-genre game, because you, you certainly could consider it that. But this game had a lot of diversity, so the first level was like a running gun, regular running gun shooter level. Uh, the second level was like an early uh, first-person RPG scrolling level that had action elements to it. So the game definitely was groundbreaking, and it had cutting-edge, um, I guess you want to say gameplay uh, elements to it. And the Super Nintendo did the same thing. Now, in Stage 2 and Stage 5, you'll notice that there's like a Mode 7 play stage that they substituted that first-person gunner stage in, the, in the, the old version, and they replaced it with the Mode 7 stage in this version. And so Konami was able to keep the same level of diversity in the game that they did in the original Contra for the NES, and I think that is just brilliant. I think Konami did an excellent job with this game, and this game was a perfect fit for the Super Nintendo, as well as one of the best games on the system, guys. There's a reason why this game was on the... The, the classic Super Nintendo edition that came out a while back because this game, it, it's the shit. This game is great. This game is an excellent run and gun shooter. And Nintendo or Konami, they, you know, Konami, they just expanded upon just the right areas that they needed to to make this game work and really soar on the Super Nintendo. So, you know, I wish I would see developers, you know, again, Konami or, you know, all of them really put the same level of attention and detail in their video games as they did back then. Because I feel like it's more of a cash grab now, and back then I think that, and not that the people don't take pride in their work, but I felt like it was just a little bit less of a cash grab, at least back then. But enough about that, let's get back to the game. So this game does have six stages, it's got six pretty diverse stages as I said. 
you know, the first stage is a pretty average Contra stage that you would expect, especially on the Super Nintendo. But then stage two gives you that mode seven stage. Now, a lot of people didn't like that stage. I happen to love it because you rotate left and right with the left and right bumpers on the top of the controller. And then you have stage four, which is like a motorcycle chasing stage, which kind of almost gives you the feeling that you're playing a shoot 'em up. So this game has it all. And then the weapon system. So the fact that you can use two weapons in this game is a major upgrade from the original Contra. You have your fire button, then you have a button right above that where you can rotate through your weapons. Now, if you happen to get hit with a weapon, you're going to lose that weapon until you find that power up again. And that kind of sucks. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use a Game Genie when I played this game the first time. I don't have a Game Genie for the Super Nintendo. So I'm going to be looking for one uh, in the future. I, hopefully I'll get one of those as soon as I find one. I'm sure they don't cost that much. But this game does not offer any cheat codes. Now, there are cheat codes for maybe the PAL region games. I know there are ones from for the Japanese versions of Contra 3, the Alien Wars. But we don't have any here. You know, they have the 30 lives code over there in Japan. We don't have that here. It would have been nice if they programmed those codes into our version of the game. Unfortunately, they didn't. But I will say a lot of this game... As is with most Contra games, but especially this game, a lot of playing the game is memorizing the enemy's actions, the enemy's bullet patterns, and for me at least, it didn't take me, and I'm not the, the greatest gamer in the world, but for me at least, it did not take me that long to learn those things about the game and navigate through the game. Now, I, want, I didn't beat this game yet again. I will beat it soon. I'm going to have to practice a lot more, but I've gotten close. I've gotten very close twice on the easier settings, so... All you have to do is memorize the game and play the game. And this is a game that's that fun that you're going to want to play it over and over and over again. And unfortunately, I didn't get to experience the two-player option in this game. I will find someone to play two-player of this game with me. But this could be one of those games that has like the best couch co-op you can imagine. I have no idea. If anybody knows, you know, let me know in the comments below. Is this like one of the best two-player experiences on the Super Nintendo? You know, I imagine it could be just based on how great the game is, but I would really love to know if you could let me know in the comments below. Um, this might be a game that would be excellent to play two-player, maybe on the Switch if they offered it in some kind of way. I, I heard they're not doing the virtual console thing. I don't own a Switch, but I will get one eventually when they get cheaper and then buy all the games that I missed out on, and I'm sure I'll spend a lot more on the games that are harder to find. But regardless... I will get a Switch one day. Anyways, guys, just to sum it up, this is an excellent game. For the money that this game costs, because I believe this game did sell well. It's a Contra game. I believe it was popular when it came out. So there are copies floating around. I would venture to say that pretty much every retro video game store in my area has at least one copy. I've always seen it. I've always seen it, guys, and it's a very common game. I just never picked it up. I mean, like I said, I did have it as a kid. I just recently picked it up, you know, over the past, you know, 10 years or so that I've been, you know, actively seeking out video games. I just now decided to buy it. And it was a good purchase because the price of Super Nintendo games, as we all know, has gotten very expensive over the years. And I'm not going to say the price on this game hasn't risen, but it's not that much. It's very affordable. I mean, if you don't want to spend the money on it, just download the ROM and play it that way. But... If you're a fan of shooters or shoot 'em ups or you own a Super Nintendo or you like to collect retro games or you want to collect Super Nintendo games, whatever your situation is, I will say that Contra 3 The Alien Wars for any collector or game player is one not to be missed and it's one you should probably own in your video game collection. Anyways guys, so Contra 3 The Alien Wars, are you copping or what? I want to say for the for the money, I mean, you can download the ROM and you can play this game for free, but this game is totally worth the money. I paid $25 for this game at a retro retail game store. And I know the price of Super Nintendo games has really gone up over the years, but for such a good game, that's what half of what it was retail. I don't mind spending $25 on this game now. I know a lot of people are probably going to have to go online to get this. Maybe you pay $30 for it. Maybe you win an auction or get luck out and find one for $20. You know, anywhere in that price range, $20 to $30, I think is an excellent buy for this game. Now, for those people that want it complete in box, I, I know there's those of you out there and you won't buy the game unless it has the manual, the box, it's in decent condition. I, I understand. I'm not like that, but I understand where you guys are coming from. Now, if you want one complete, it's going to cost you, I would say, at the cheapest, around $100, you know, up to... $200 maybe depending on condition 
So obviously I do not recommend that. I recommend it card only. And guys, I just want to say this is an excellent game and it sucks that I waited so many years to buy this game again because guys, it's just that good. Anyways, guys, I want to say happy, happy Veterans Day again to all the people that served our country um, or that actively serve our country. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching that. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out.